Struggling with 30 FPS and insane lag in Fortnite Chapter 6? I'll show you exactly how I went from a stuttering 30 FPS to a buttery smooth 240 plus FPS on my budget PC in Fortnite Chapter 6, no expensive upgrades, just smart tweaks to boost FPS and fix lag once and for all. So let's dive into the video. Step 1. Adjusting Windows Power Throttling Settings for Fortnite Budget PCs If you are playing Fortnite on a budget PC, you want your computer to give you the best performance possible. To turn it off, press the Windows plus R keys at the same time. A small box will pop up called the Run dialog. In that box, type gpedit.msc and press Enter. This will open a window called the Local Group Policy Editor. In the window, look on the left-hand side and go to Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, System now scroll down and find a folder named Power Management and click on it. Inside that, find Power Throttling Settings and double click on it. A new box will open. In this box, find the setting that says Turn Off Power Throttling and double click it. Another small window will appear. In that new window, select Enabled. This will turn off power throttling completely, allowing your CPU to run at full power all the time. After that, click Apply, then OK, and close everything. This setting will work on both Windows 10 and Windows 11. It helps your PC run smoother, especially when playing games like Fortnite. Gear Up Booster is a best tool to reduce your ping while playing games. It works with both wired and wireless connections. Download it for free from my description and enjoy smoother gameplay with lower ping. Step 2. Setting Fortnite Process Priority for Fortnite You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Fortnite more access to your CPU power, we can change its process priority setting. This helps the game run better, especially on lower end PCs. First, open the folder called Fortnite Priority Manager that came with the optimization files you downloaded. Inside this folder, you will find three files. Fortnite Above Normal Priority, Fortnite High Priority, Fortnite Normal Priority. Default Windows Setting. If your computer is a low-end or budget PC, double-click the file named Fortnite Above Normal Priority. If your computer is a mid-range or high-end PC, double-click the file named Fortnite High Priority. If you ever want to go back to the default setting, double-click Fortnite Normal Priority. After clicking any of these files, a message will pop up asking if you want to allow the file to make changes. Click Yes. The setting will be saved inside your computer's registry. Now when you start Fortnite, it will automatically run with the new priority, which helps with smoother gameplay and fewer lag spikes. Step 3. Improving CPU performance by unparking CPU cores for Fortnite. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Sometimes, your CPU does not use all of its cores to save energy. This is called parking. But when you're gaming, you want all CPU cores working. To fix this, you need to unpark them. Start by downloading a tool called Unpark CPU. After installing it, right-click the shortcut and choose Run as administrator so it has full access to your system. When the program opens, it will show you which CPU cores are parked, inactive, and which ones are active. Click the Unpark button to activate all cores. This will allow your CPU to give maximum performance, which means better FPS and smoother gameplay in Fortnite, especially on budget systems. Step 4. Using NVIDIA Profile and Spectre settings for Fortnite budget PCs If you can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website, I've provided the link in the description. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you can use NVIDIA Profile and Spectre to boost performance and reduce lag. This tool gives you access to advanced settings that are not available in the regular NVIDIA control panel. First, open NVIDIA Profile Inspector and search for Fortnite in the profile list at the top. If you have downloaded my settings file from Discord, you can import it for quick setup. If not, do it manually. Go to the anti-aliasing section and set Transparency Super Sampling to 0x Tetra 0 triple zero eight. Then go to the Texture Filtering section and do the following. Turn on Driver Controlled LOD. Set both LOD Bias DX and LOD Bias OGL to plus 3. These changes reduce detail like grass and shadows slightly, but help increase FPS. Next, change negative LOD E bias to clamp and set texture filtering quality to high quality. Then go to power management mode and set it to optimal performance, so your GPU uses energy wisely. After everything is done, click apply changes to save it. In this step, I'm going to show you the best tool to get stable ping while gaming. So first, download the Gear Up Booster tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your PC. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. 
If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the Middle East server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now go to the end tab where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let gear up automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to automatic for the best results. Finally close the window and launch your game using Gear Up Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Step 5. Boost Windows performance with Chris Titus Tech Utility for Fortnite budget PCs. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. To make your Windows system faster and cleaner, use the Chris Titus Tech Utility. This tool helps remove background processes and Windows features you don't need. First, open your FPS boost pack and find the text file that contains a special command. Open that file and copy the entire line of code. Now go to the Windows search bar, type PowerShell, right-click it, and choose Run as administrator. Paste the code you copied into PowerShell and press Enter. This will open the Chris Titus Tech Utility tool. Click the Tweaks tab and you'll see several performance options. Choose the minimal preset if you want safe tweaks that remove non-essential features. Choose the standard preset if you want more aggressive optimizations for even more performance. Before making any changes, the tool will automatically create a system restore point. That way, you can roll back if anything goes wrong. After choosing your preset, click Run Tweaks. Wait for it to finish, then close the tool. These tweaks reduce background processes, lower CPU usage, and help boost FPS in Fortnite. Step 6. Use MSI Utility to optimize hardware performance. You can get all the files I use in the pack from my official website. I've provided the link in the description. Another great tool for improving system speed and reducing input lag is the MSI Utility. This tool adjusts how your hardware components interact with your system. Download the tool from my official website. Link is in the description. After downloading and opening it, you will see a list of hardware on your system. Find your GPU and check the MSI box next to it. Then change its interrupt priority to high. Next, find your integrated GPU, like Intel Graphics. Check the MSI box for it too, and also set its interrupt priority to high. Click Apply to save these changes, then close the MSI utility. These adjustments help your system handle tasks more efficiently and reduce stuttering and input delay in games like Fortnite. Step 7. Unlocking all CPU processors for maximum performance. By default, your PC might not use all your CPU cores when it starts. We can fix that so Fortnite gets the most power from your CPU. First, press the Windows key and search for System Configuration. Open it, then go to the Boot tab. Click the Advanced Options button. In the new window, check the box that says Number of Processors. In the drop-down, select the highest number available. This is how many CPU cores your PC has. Click OK, then Apply, and close the window. This change makes sure your CPU uses all its cores right away during startup. It helps reduce lag, improve game load times, and make your Fortnite gameplay smoother and faster.